Which is, beware the spinning logs, and that kind of backfired really bad looking. I don't like the looks of that. Those logs are spinning. And I definitely don't like the looks of the stage or the fact that the game just gave me those all, all at once. Hey look, it's ravens! Or mini ravens. Although, the boss itself is technically called Raven, too. <laughs> the stage is not good, and it's got athletic in it. This most cursed evil song. Speaking of soundtracks... <sighs> I really like the music in this game, but I don't like this song. <laughs> I have grown to hate this song just because it plays in all of the stages I generally have a dispute of hatred towards. <laughs> And this stage is also quite dangerous. Oh my god, no, not fuzzies! And you can kill them with eggs, thank god. Oh jeez. Fuzzies! <laughs> you know, you think they only appear in one or two stages, but nope, they appear in World 6 as well. The evil, evil fuzzies that everyone seems to make fun of so much have come back into one of the more evil stages. I don't like these things. Why is this one ground poundable? Because there's a coin in it, and I'm not going to ground pound that anymore, or I'll die. <laughs> I'll die a very stupid death. And that is not very nice in placement of stars. Alright, let's go ahead and get these eggs here and then get that continue point. I don't like how the game gives you eggs right here. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Where are all these stars? Alright, let's go ahead and get this. And this is why I don't like it. Huh. Awesome. You have to be quick. Oh, dang it, I let go of the A button. Or is that the B button? That's the B button. Derp. <laughs> and now you see why there's a continue point here. I am not gonna get on top of that one over there. And that was a very evilly placed block. Or not block, that's not a block. That is a rock. And, of course, the batter can automatically knock it back on command without fail. Because that's just the kind of person that he is. An amazing batter. And I'm getting somewhat sidetracked, actually. <laughs> this, these stages are quite difficult, and the stage is over, thank god. That's a pretty short stage. Which I'm also glad for. No mini game either. But, um, anyways, uh, question five from Snack. When you wash your hands, do you wet them first or do you just apply soap from the get go? And I don't know what you're talking about, Snack, because I don't wash my hands. No, I'm just kidding, I actually, I do. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> when I wash my hands, I don't know why I'm about to answer this, but you just had to ask this question. This is a weird question, Snack. Really embarrassing one, kind of, and we're fighting Tap Tap the Red Nose. Um, I have a, I have a method for it, because I'm, I'm crazy, but I wash my hands, I, I like, I, well yeah, I wash my hands, but I get my hands wet first, then I apply soap, then I, you know, rinse. <laughs> that is my method when I wash my hands. I don't know why you wanted to know that. But now you know that I'm very, I guess, thorough when it comes to washing hands. And you can duck under this guy. And the spazzy screening continues. Thank you, spazzy screen. How we love you, spazzy screens. Alright, come on, let's go. Oh, what's this? I don't like the looks of that platform at all. I don't know what those platforms do. Oh, this is one of those parts. Oh, and there's a trail of booze. I'd almost think that to be cute if I didn't hate booze so much. Um, lure them over here and then jump. That's pretty simple. And then there's a rotating somewhat 3D fire thing. I don't know. I think that's kind of cool, but I don't like the looks of this section right here. But that is okay because I am just fine. Alright, next question, number six from him. Outside of video game music, what would you say your favorite musical genre is, and what are some bands, groups, artists... Oh god, that's spazzy. You like from the genre. 
Interesting question. <laughs> um, I've gone through f musical phases, as I call them. Except with, like, video game music, of co course. That was close. <laughs> because video game music you just can't beat. But, um, when I was, uh, about it, I didn't really get into any other bands. Any bands, really, until, like, high school. And when I did get to high school, I went through that typical teenager phase where you really like all the... I guess you could call it rock music and emo music, and that's the first boss. Why is the first boss here? Why is the first boss making a reappearance in this castle? That is kind of strange. Um, alright, now that I've done being crazed by the fact that I'm refighting the first boss from the game. Um, like, you know, I had that phase where I go, where I had, like, re I really liked rock music. And, um, are you gonna die? Okay, there we go. I'd say that really, when I liked that mu kind of music, I liked bands like Three Days Grace and Avenged Sevenfold and stuff like that. I know it doesn't sound like anything I'd listen to when you, because <laughs> of how you guys know me now, <laughs> but that was the kind of stuff I listened to. I blame my love for Avenge Sevenfold on um, Guitar Hero 2, though. <laughs> That's pri primarily the game that got me to that band. Um, those would be some of my favorites. I also really had a thing for Breaking Benjamin. Like, I really liked rock music, but that's just because my mom was a heavy listener of rock music, so that's kind of the genre I grew up on. Because, like, my mom's favorite bands were always the really weird ones. Or the, you know... She really liked to listen to Ozzy and stuff, and Pearl Jam, and Typo Negative, if you guys know who that is. Which, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you don't, because they're, 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 they're known, just they're not super well known. I mean, they're known pretty well, but I think they only released like one album. But yeah, I'd say that I primarily like rock music, but that's also just because I was raised around that kind of music. That was what my brother listened to, that was what my mom listened to, those are all red coins. I don't really want to get those. So yeah, I'd say primarily rock music. Um, number seven. Who would you say is your- oh, that's what I get for looking at the question and not the game. Who would you say is your favorite video game developer? And of course, you just have to ask these hard questions. And I'm still looking for the key, by the way. Those are all red coins, too. Um, developer-wise, uh, I would say... Well, again, I have many. <laughs> I would say that for a while it was Capcom. Well, Capcom was one of them. After, like, it was Capcom for a bit, and then Capcom ended up doing stupid things, and canceling my favorite games, and then only focusing on Resident Evil, and then I just kind of was like, ugh, Capcom. Um, I primarily love Square Enix, or Square Soft, or Square, whatever, oh, I didn't mean to get that. <laughs> Um, or Square, whatever you want to call that group who makes Final Fantasy. I still like them today, despite the fact that nobody else does. <laughs> I can't find this stupid key for this friggin' castle. Um, Nintendo, of course, because they technically count. <laughs> Obviously, you know, I grew up as a Nintendo guy just like everybody else. And actually, I also grew up as a kind of a Sony person, too, which not a lot of people really like. I'm not sure what people had against Sony, really, but I really actually like Sony. Not to go to the point of being a fanboy to any of these, of course, because I would give my spiel on fanboyism, but, you know, not a very fun topic. Um, let's see, who else do I like? That was just an egg refill pipe. Um, there's like tons of them. You were really good at asking hard questions. Um, I guess I would also have to say I loved Enix, you know, standalone Enix, because, well, they made Actraiser. They also made the Terranigma series, as well as the, um, um, as well as the Soul Blazer, and, well, like, it's called the Soul Blazer series, I guess, and Illusion of Gaia. Those are amazing Super Nintendo games, by the way. I think B-Dude is actually doing a Let's Play of Terranigma right now. The only bad side about that game is that it... It didn't get released in America. It was like 
Europe slash Japan only for some reason, because I guess they hate us. And I have a feeling, yep. Yeah. So, I'd have to say those are probably the ones I can think- well, no, Konami. I love Konami. Of course, I guess Konami doesn't love me. <laughs> uh, I will never stop referencing that. Are you gonna give me- oh, you're dead. Good. I was about to say, I'm out of eggs. <laughs> But yeah, uh, definitely Konami for their Castlevania Metal Gear Solid games, too. Those are some pretty outstanding games, which you should all go play if you haven't, but most of you have, because you all know what the good games are. <laughs> I think. Anyways, um... That'll about do it for that question, because I can't think of anything else, and I'm doing a pretty good job of, like, playing this while reading these questions, I think. I only died, like, once or twice. And this castle, I swear to god, could this castle take any longer? Don't answer that, please. I think this is the boss room. I hope it's the boss room. No, of course not. It's the spinny thing leading to the boss room. Although, if you want to get technical, this whole entire area has been just leading to the boss. The stage is really long. Alright, I'm gonna try to not talk about, like, long episodes anymore, because you guys don't seem to care that my videos sometimes can go into the 20 minute range, because I, you know, I'm playing this pretty much blind. Like, it's not entirely blind. But, yeah. I'm glad you guys didn't mind that the videos went more than 20, 20 minutes-ish. I tried to speed up when I could. But yeah, while this is going, um, question number eight. Are you eating that eggs and bacon? Uh, yes, of course. Eggs and bacon every day, dude. You know me. <laughs> uh, number nine. What would you say is your favorite- your favorite moment- mo mo <laughs> Read the question right. What would you say your favorite moment as a gamer has been so far? Which he stole that from the Bottoms Up podcast, if you paid attention. And is this section ever gonna end? Um... Well, I actually explained that in my ActRaiser video. I explained a lot of things in those videos. Um, uh, ooh, fish. Um, oh my god. What was that? The, but, all right. I'm, I'm totally okay with, like, you know, the occasional getting hit, but when you put a section that is like that, that's just... You make me sit through this really long log ride to hit me with a fish so that I can die? Who came up with this section? Who came up with this section? I need to meet them. I do. I need to meet the person that decided to put that fish there. S seriously this takes forever, and you can't control how fast it goes, and you have to put a fish there that can hit you easily. <sighs> Anyways, question question 9. What would you say your favorite moment as a, game, as a gamer has been? Um, there are two of them. Well, like, actually, there are many of them. Um, the first one in the earliest memory is one of the earliest memories I can remember. is when I played ActRaiser as a kid, particularly when I got to Cassandora. And if you guys have watched my Let's Play, you heard me freak out about that. Die, fish! Thank God. I hate that thing. Um... Just the music, and the mood, and what actually happens in that section are just so amazing. And this is kind of... Boss. Eek! How did you... You. I never expected you to get this far. Eee! Now it's over. Your game ends here. But, um, yeah. In the Cassandora section of the game, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my Let's Play. <laughs> Might as well put that out there. Um, this boss I already can tell how you beat him. Um, yeah, I would say that the section of Cassandora is probably one of my all time favorite. And he dies. Haha. <laughs> uh,. Wow, that that was the fastest boss fight ever. 
Um, but yeah, I'd say the Cassandora section was my favorite when I was a kid because I could actually understand what was going on in that section. And it was just really sad what went on. And I got 89, nice. And the music, the, the first time I heard that song there, oh, that song just hit me so hard. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and continue this, and we're going to go on to 6-5.